Right guys, what's up? It's me, it's Jacob. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the second of two Tyrone Magnus reaction videos. I, effectively, I'm giving my reaction to him. I'm not giving my reaction to one of his reaction videos, which is really the main thing here. I'm giving my reaction to him talking. Talking about something close to his heart. Talking about something very inspirational and motivational, apparently. This video today is titled, Don't Waste Your Talent. It's by Tyro Magnus. There is a description here that I can see. It says, I know a lot of young men need to hear this, so I'm saying it. I'm assuming before watching this that we're gonna hear Tyro Magnus, a guy that almost wasted his talent, almost found himself in a position in life where he was gonna give up. You know, he tried a few things, they didn't work. His mum, who was always you know, one of the ones that believed in him the most, you know, said he could do anything, back yourself, you can do it, passed away. Next minute, Tyrone's by himself. There is no major support. If he doesn't do this now, if he doesn't, if he doesn't back himself, believe in himself, who's going to? He knew he had some talent. He needed some people to tell him that along the way, but he knew, he knew he had the talent and now he's got a YouTube channel and nearly two million subscribers. And, and you know, he's been killing it for, for six, seven, eight years. You know, there's a reaction video here with 635,000 subs, uh, sorry, views, five years ago. So this guy has been doing reaction videos for a very, very long time. I think if anyone's gonna come at him for being a reaction channel, I think you're gonna have to go back and see how long he's been doing them for. I didn't even know, I, I didn't even know what a reaction video was back then. I had no clue. He was already in the field, already, you know, building his, YouTube career, building his YouTube personality, and having fun. And at the end of the day, I can guarantee you one thing. If he wasn't having fun doing this, he wouldn't be doing it. Anyway, let's hear what Tyron Magnus has to say about wasting your talents. What is happening, Magnusites? I was come. Magnusites. Well, I'm not sure about that, but I am sure about um, the fact that I need another coffee, so I'll be back, back shortly. And we're back believe it or not. Okay, don't waste your talent. All right, so I, f I feel like I'm gonna hear a few things that I agree with. Guys, there's one thing I wanna say before starting this video. There is no, there is nothing more tragic, guys. There is nothing more tragic than wasting talent. Wasting talent. You talk about wasting time. That is fucking tragic. Time is our biggest asset in this world. Our biggest asset and it's running out each and every day. Now talent is our own personal biggest asset. That is how you are going to achieve anything in this life, is your talent. You can, yes, you can work at it, but you know, if you don't even recognize that you've got that talent in the first place, how are you even gonna work on it? Sometimes we need someone else to see that talent, let us know, and say, back yourself, do it. Don't waste that talent, you know? You've only got one life, live it. We do have the power to do anything we want in life. I, I firmly believe that. I, I firmly believe that as a human being, in the world we live in, if you want to do something, if you want to achieve something within your physical capabilities, you can do it. And even if it's not within your physical capabilities, I'm led to believe that the mind is a lot more powerful than the body. So what that means is that even if you don't think you can do something physically, with a little bit of motivation, an ordinary person can do something extraordinary if they just set their mind to it. And I firmly, firmly believe that. And as we just said, if you just set your mind to it, you set your mind to it. If you're a man on a mission or a woman on a mission, nothing is gonna stop you if you don't want it to or if you won't let it. And if you've got that talent and you know you're, you're destined to get somewhere, but you do have to make sacrifices, you do have to let friends go, you do have to cut people out, you do have to spend nights at home when you, you wanna go out, you know, you do have to make sure you get your sleep every night so you can get up fresh every single morning and crack into whatever goals you've got. Yes, sacrifices need to be made, but they're gonna be worth it in the end. And if you've got that talent and you don't nurture it and you don't use it, then that is an absolute tragedy. So let's hear what Tyrone has to say. I'm compelled to make this video. Every once in a while, y'all know I will either just turn on the live stream or you'll see me making a video from my car because something just comes to mind. And this came to mind because I was thinking about someone I know. Actually, a few people I know. 
and that are wasting their time. I have a lot of teenage viewers, guys that aren't even grown men yet, guys that are still developing mentally and aren't making clear decisions in their lives. And I'm here to tell you, because I've been through it all, do not waste your talent. Every single one of you is born with at least one God-given talent. Some, it's your mind. Some, it's your hands. Some, it's your athletic ability. And so on and so on. Some of you have artists. And like I said, so on and so on. And some of these talents are on display in high school. You all know who you are, all right? You're the straight-A students. You're the jocks. You're the guys with ideas. You're the guys that want to invent things. You're the guys that want to help people. You want to open businesses. All these different things, all these different dreams that you have in your head right now. But there's only one thing fighting it. Your limited you beliefs. You want to be cool. You want to be cool. I'm here to tell you, because I've been through it. Being cool ain't all it's cracked up to be. And if that's all you want to be, I'm telling you right now, you're going to grow up and your life is going to be nothing. Nothing. Because I'm here to tell you, you can be cool and still get an education. You can be cool and still follow your athletic dreams, your business dream, your scholarly dreams, okay? But cool needs to be thrown to the back of the bus, all right? On the back burner. Because being cool is not the most important thing in the world. You can be successful with swag, but swag should never be your most important thing. And I say this because there are two young men that I'm thinking of right now. Both of them, I think, are preoccupied with being cool. But one of them has put, put cool on the back burner. And he is following his athletic dreams. And he's going to college. That is cool. And he's trying to make something of his talent. The other one, I would say, is actually equally if not more talented at what he does. He is only concerned with being cool. That's it. No drive, no motivation. Two different people, bro. They both grew up in towns where it's easy to not be shit, okay? Having both, as a matter of fact, both of their parents grew up in the same town, which is interesting. I'm telling you guys, hanging with the guys on the street, it's not where it's at, okay? Listen, when you're growing, we go through phases. One of those phases is when you're younger, you usually want the approval of your parents. Five, six, seven, all that stuff. When you get to be a teenager, you want the approval of your peers. Okay. But the approval of your peers will not mean anything when you're in your 20s and you need a job, you need a home, you need food, and you're sitting there with nothing. Bro, okay, originally when I first started watching this video, I was like, you know, I could have definitely used this advice when I was that age at school, you know, 16, 15 thinking about what I want to do after school, you know, you've got that talent, you do have that, that athletic talent, but I was, I was letting it go, because I didn't believe in myself, I did not believe that I could play at the next level, I didn't believe that I, that I could do it, I didn't have anyone in my ear telling me about goals and about working hard and about, look, if you just stop trying to be cool and put your head fucking down, you can achieve anything, and if you start trying to achieve that at age 16, 15, you're going to get there, but I didn't have that. I didn't have that, and here I sit at age 30, 
able to speak like this, but I tell you what, even like even back at 16, I don't know if I would have listened. I don't know if I would have listened, you know? Talking about what you're gonna feel like when you're in your 20s, I mean, I don't know if that would have hit. You're, t you're talking 10 years in advance. You're talking 10 years in the future. You're asking a teenager to imagine or to plan 10 years into the future. Now that requires a really, really strong mindset at that, at that age. Appears and means nothing at that point. But it, cert it sounds as if these two people that he's talking about, one has it and one doesn't, simply. I'm here to tell you, I've been through it. I tried getting the approval of my peers a couple of times, and that was it. I realized that being cool wasn't for me at all. Nope, I could be cool later. I could be cool later because first and foremost, I wanted to be successful. I wanted to make something on myself. I wanted to create a legacy. Many of you, because you want to run the streets, because you want to be cool, you want to be involved with everything that's going to get your ass in trouble, get your ass locked up, get you kicked out of school, get you suspended, get you expelled, maybe even get you killed. You're too preoccupied with all those cool things. Let me ask you a question. I want all of you who think that you're so cool, look at the guys that you're patterning yourself after. Look at those men that you're patterning yourself after. Look at each and every one of them and tell me this. Are they successful? Are they happy? I'm just looking at this car. Is he, is he driving a Skyline? Oh, sorry, mate. Are they living their lives to the best of their ability? Are they fulfilled? Are they make setting goals and knocking them down? Are they achieving all their life's dreams? Are they doing what makes them happy? Or are they just cool? Are they has-beens that tell stories about how they knocked out three niggas at the same time in the street one time? Or about how they scored four touchdowns in a football game one time? Or about how they hit the buzzer beater one time at a high school game. Yeah, this is the shit that I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah, this this hits home, man. This hits re, this hits hits home really hard, actually, because there's. I'm not saying that I feel like this right now, but there's certainly been times in the last couple of years where I've thought I can't be that guy. I cannot let myself be that guy that sits there when he's 50, 60, even 40. In 10 short years' time, I could be a guy. If I don't push over these next 10 years, I could be living with so much regret at age 40, let alone 50, 60, 70. I can't let that happen. I can't. I cannot let that happen. So that is why I'm living the life I am right now. And that is why I'll say right now that there is only one thing and one thing only that needs to change in my life for me to be living my best life. Because this is my best life for me. But there are two other people out there in the world that need me and that don't have me right now. And those are my two girls. So you guys will see this video before the Top 100 series has finished, right? You guys will see this video pretty shortly, I'd say within a week of me shooting it. Today's date is the 14th of Jan. I know what I need to do. Nothing sits right with me right now, knowing that I'm away from them knowing that I'm away from my two little girls. I want to be letting them know as they grow up, as they go through, you know, <laughs> as they go through the, the toddler stages, as they go through school, then high school, then out into the real world, I want to be there as their dad. I want to be letting them know. I want to be telling them things like this. I want to be telling them, don't waste your talent. Do not waste your talent. Now, I don't know if that's a difference that we have. I've got children, he doesn't. I have no idea. I feel like he probably doesn't have kids. I feel like he's probably single, no kids, 
grinding on his career, which is fine, which is absolutely fine. But I'm in a position where I do have two dependents and I need to be with them. And on and on and on. But at this point in their lives, ain't shit going on. I guarantee you, probably 99% of y'all are gonna tell me, but yeah, my shit, oh, I ain't, he ain't doing yet. Exactly. Running the streets is for the fucking birds, okay? I came from it, I know what it is, and guess what? I never lived it, because I saw it. I saw it. Everybody that I went to school with, except for me, ran the streets. The majority of all the young men that I knew, the majority, all ran the streets. I could, I could name so many guys. I came from a town that had an exceptional amount of talent. Okay? Mine happens to be comedic talent, by the way. I have several talents, but I know my best one is entertainment, and, and, and I'm living that right now. I've followed my dreams, and I'm continuing to follow them, and also going to fulfill it in other avenues. I'm doing what I love for a living. I'm happy, very, very happy with my life right now. When you follow your dreams, you will still have hardships and problems. But when you're doing something you love, they're conquered much easier than if you're doing something that you hate. If it's drudgery, if you're working at this nine to five and this other job or three jobs, whatever it is, and it's killing you. You have no time for yourself. Certainly been in those situations. There's going to be a lot of people watching right now that's in that situation. But as long as that seed that Tyrone is planting is planted, right? And that seed that he's planting is the fact that this job, this mundane job that you're in, it's means to an end. Okay? It is means to an end. You know where you want to be. You know you want to be doing what you love for a job. But no one's able to do that just instantly. It's always going to be a process. You've always got to put a plan in place. Set goals, achieve them over and over and over again and, 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 and focus on what makes you happy and eventually you'll get there. Now I didn't even think about the concept of just focusing on what made you happy until three years ago. Three years ago probably. And that's when I decided to put plans in place to start living my life with no regret, get out of that job that I hated, travel around, set goals, physically, mentally, and achieve them. And here we are, the start of 2021, and there's really only one thing that needs to be done now. I need to be with my girls. You are stressed out. You've got children, you've got a wife, you've got a girlfriend, you've got children, you know what I mean? Yeah, good luck changing it then. Whatever your particular situation is, you've got all this stuff and you've got nothing to show for it and you can't even handle life because you didn't follow your dreams. No, I wouldn't be able to handle it. I've imagined that. I've imagined me sitting there, 40, 50, 60, 70, thinking I could have done that, I should have done that. That is not, like I'm the kind of guy that's so passionate and so emotional that those kind of feelings would probably send me to, to, to you know, the darkest of dark places and we know what I'm talking about. I couldn't handle it, I couldn't. I couldn't, simply. When you follow your dreams, life is easier. It's, it's fun. Easier, it's fun. Me, because it's exciting. I used to follow, you, you know, know, a line of thinking that I thought was really going to work. You know, I wasn't, I was still, I guess you could say, well, I was still successful, more successful than most of the dudes that I know. But I wasn't following my passion. 
What's your passion? Is it thought? Is it philosophy? Is it tinkering? Is it creating things, creating gadgets? Is it software? What is it? Is it athletics in some form or fashion? I mean, who's who here is going to be... There's so many people in high schools right now that are the next Michael Jordan, that are the next Bill Gates. They really are, man. And they're wasting it all to be cool. It, it, and I see it happening over and over and over and over. I see all these kids doing the same shit. That's, you know why? That's the reason why the majority of people die without their dreams fulfilled. Because they don't go for it. It's easier, it is, it's easier to be a bum. It is, and not do nothing. It's easier to be a bum and be cool. Do you know what guys? I could have started a whole lot earlier uh, trying to reach for my dreams and, and goals and stuff. I, I firmly believe that I did probably start having a shift of, of mindset in about 2014, 2015, where I did start believing that anything is possible. Um, but that was at age 24, 25, not 16 or 15, wherever, you know, whatever he's talking about. So definitely some wasted time there, definitely. But I still had my youth. At 25, I was laughing at people telling me I was old. I'm like, are you fucking joking me? I still feel 15. I still feel 15. See, here we are at 35 years later, and I still feel 20. I do. Physically. Not mentally, because I was a fucking idiot at 20. But um, I, guess, I guess all I can say is that even if you don't back your talent until 30, or 35, or 40, at least, you know, at, at the very least, you've, you've looked after your body to that point. So you can still do things, because because yes, it's one thing not being able to do something or not doing something because you don't want to do it. But if you find that you can't do something, even when you want to, because you know physically you can't do it, you've left it too long, oh, no, not a feeling I'd like. It really is. And it's not easy to follow your dreams to the mountaintop. To try, at least, to at least try to be the best you could possibly be in your life. Isn't that better than not having tried at all? Absolutely, and it brings me back to a quote that Arnold Schwarzenegger fam famously said. I, I, I think he said it. No, actually it wasn't Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was a, a famous philosopher back in the day, but I think he said, I think he said that for a man, and this is, you know, to do with males, females as well, but for a man to never, for a man to never train and exercise his body to his full potential is life's greatest tragedy or, or life's greatest. Socrates, here we go, here we go. No man has the right to be an amateur in the matter of physical training. Now this is, you know, this is to do with my loving going to the gym, loving training, lo loving playing sport. No man has the right to be an amateur in the matter of physical training. No man has the right, okay? You think you've got the right to be a man and be a potato sitting on the couch doing fuck all? No, you don't. You don't. Because to have these two legs and these two arms is a privilege. It is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable. And I'd say I'd have to agree. I've always told y'all, I would rather try and fail than be a woulda, coulda, shoulda. That dude sitting there telling you tall tales about his past. I hate about that shit. About how he used to look, how many girls he used to pull, how many dudes he used to knock out, how much money he used to make doing something illegal, and this, that, and the third. Right. You're actually talking right to me, man. Because I tell you what, if, if I come across those people, I literally just shut off. Look, I'm not going to be rude to them to their face, but I'm just like, please, never let me be in that position. It's, it's, and it's the same way for the chicks. 
And if I am in that position, and I do tell you I've done something, then you can probably go check it out on my YouTube channel. The opposite for the chicks. The chicks that chase them type of dudes. Y'all... Y'all know what I'm gonna say. I've been saying it. And it goes the same thing for the ladies because 7% of my followers are women. Same. Follow a guy, get with a guy, marry a guy, date a guy that has a good head on his shoulders. Because all that extra cool shit, all that extra street shit, it ain't gonna get you nothing. And it might get you dead. And follow your dreams. Just as many women listening to me have just as much talent as the men. And you need to follow your dreams too and do what makes you happy. Okay, and if being the side piece or the main chick, the bottom bitch of the coolest nigga in town that ain't going nowhere is your dream, you need to recalibrate. Reboot. Smack yourself in the face something, okay? It's true, man. It's true. I don't, when I look at someone, right? When I look at someone, I don't see gender. Okay? I don't see skin color. Okay? I don't see family history. Alright? I don't even see how tall or how fat they are. All I see is a person. All I see is a human being with a brain, with as much capability as anyone else. All they need to do is back themselves and believe in themselves. I just had to vent. I appreciate I it. I don't want y'all wasting your lives. It's I'm getting tired of seeing it. I'm getting so sick and tired of seeing people make the dumbest decisions of their lives. And, and, and you know, they, they can't see it. They're blind. I think they say your frontal lobe isn't even fully developed until you're in your early 20s or something like that. And maybe that's the reason why. These kids make these stupid mistakes. I'm lucky that I had a parent that kept me out of the streets. And God knows a lot of the parents out there are trying to keep y'all out of the streets. Some parents don't care because that's where they grew up and they think it's cool. Magnus answers, who is this woman? Right Tyrone, I'm sorry mate, but I've, you've, you've got me. You've got me. Welcome back, Magnus Sight. Who's this? Tyrone? No. Oh no. No, no, no. Excuse me, Tyrone. Who is this? Scarlo. Scarlo. Alright. So, Scarlo's fans. I know that a lot of you are also. Okay, so this must be his missus, and if it's not, then, uh,. <laughs> I'm not sure, but anyways, all right, all right, all right. Doing a little bit of digging there. Welcome back. Probably a bit too much digging, um, so we're going to stop that. But Tyrone, I want to say, bro, another good video. I feel like I feel like I, yeah, definitely. Um, I think we're on the same wavelength. In fact, Jacob, my subscriber who recommended me check you out, I I know exactly why. Um, and if I had have watched these videos at the time you put them out, I would have definitely taken a lot from them. But I do believe I've, I've developed my own mindset, my own very similar mindset myself. And maybe I can make videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for the motivation, Tyrone. I'll see you around. I'll see all of you guys around. Thanks for watching. I've got five seconds of footage left. Three, two, one. Peace out.